So what's what's the summer been like for you? you know, obviously you were doing all that beach stuff. I follow yeah. you Twitter. <laughs> the, the summer's been going well. Um, working out at home here. Um, I'm taking class, taking an intensive Spanish class. It's like four or five hours of Spanish every day. So uh, I'm working. I'm working. What what you know? Can you just sort of take me through the the time at home and and what kind of development you thought you saw? Well, uh, what I've been telling everyone is that uh, back home I didn't really want to touch too many weights because I really like our weight program here and uh, I feel like I, my, the trainers here should be the ones that train me if, for any weight if I'm doing any weight so what I did back home was a lot of calisthenics a lot of body weight exercises and uh, just really working on explosiveness and getting my core right it was like P90X on crack <laughs> a little bit, yeah, a little, bit. <laughs> a little over the top <laughs> No, but it was a good workout. How, how'd you like? How'd you get onto that? Like, who put you onto that? Oh, my father grew up with a guy in Stanford, and his son does that type of training. Okay. And uh, that, I used to do that stuff in back, you know, my junior year and senior year and stuff back in high school. And uh, I called him up, and he he was still doing the same thing. Okay. And I I asked him if he could train me, and he did. Do you, do you see any specific benefits from it in, in terms of agility, that kind of stuff, like uh, just body balance? I definitely feel more explosive and feel more strength in my core, which I think is a big part of uh, of you know improving in your in your body and your strength. And, uh, I was I was happy with my results. Have you seen positive results from him? Oh, from this guy, <laughs> for sure. He's actually, you know, what I mean? he's garnered the name Silas, the dis the disciple. You know what I mean? Is that right? Because <laughs> not, because not self-proclaimed. Because I mean, it ha it, no, it hasn't been. You know what I mean? But. He's, he's Silas the Disciple now just because he's always ready to learn. He's a humble kid. You know, the, sky, the sky's the limit for this guy. I, I, I'm a Silas Red fan, you know what I mean? 5-2 backwards is 2-5, you know what I'm saying? So we got that special connection. Okay. And uh, this kid, he comes in, works hard every day, you know what I mean? And he, he's wise beyond his years. So, okay. For does, sure. he, does he sign autographs? Do you have memorabilia? Your I place mean, or? I have in my basement, you know what I mean? I have his, uh, from, from his, his Connecticut high school stuff. Okay. I have his jersey framed up, you know what I mean? I got a football sign. And my, my next son's going to be named Silas. So wow. He's, he's impacted my life in ways I can't even describe to you right now. Okay, so I'm going to go back to you now. Everybody's, everybody's a fan of the disciples. Now, now that you're going to be known as the disciple. <laughs> I go through this every day with this guy, just just so you guys know. Chima, Chima Okoli, and Quinn Barham. I go through this every single day, but I know I know it's all love. <laughs> Hopefully. I mean, do they make you miserable? Is it, do, you, do, you get any, do you get tired of it sometimes? No, no those, those are my big guys. I know they're going to tease me. Those guys pave a lot of road for me to run. So. I was just going to say, they're, they're the guys you're going to depend on this absolutely, year, right? Absolutely, absolutely. So. You know, what kind of development do you expect to have with them once preseason camp comes along? Well, we gelled pretty well this spring, and uh, I can only think that it's going to go you know, go forward from this point on. So I'm, I'm really excited for them. Cool. Um, you guys are right in the middle of this sort of grind of summer. Is is the beginning of the preseason camp the end of the tunnel? Is the end of preseason camp the end of the tunnel? Uh, the end of preseason camp, absolutely. <laughs> you know, the, the, it gets harder, believe it or not, through preseason camp. But uh, we're going in with, you know, with our heads up, and hopefully we come out with our heads up. It, it seems, you know, uh, a word that I've heard a couple of times today is redemption in terms of coming back for next year. You know, no, nobody was happy with last year. Um, you know, what, what has to change, I guess? Well, I, I think you can agree that 7-6 wasn't Penn State football at all. And um, we just, what we're focusing on is executing and getting things done uh, in order to, to, to win the games in these big situations. And that's what we're really focusing on, is uh, just executing to, to, to the T. Everything everything needs to be right when you execute. I'm, I'm curious, do you think that, that last year was necessary for you guys to have the perspective that you do now to be able to do the things that you want to do for this year? Well, uh, I don't know if it was necessary. <laughs> I, mean, I, I don't think any of us wanted a 7-6 to six season, but it was an eye-opener. It was, it was a wake-up call. It was a reality check, all, all that. And... Um, you know, we, it, it got our attention. It definitely got our attention. Right. And, uh, we're doing anything we can do to, 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 upon, uh, to prove upon, prove upon uh, uh, last year. Uh, leadership was something that a lot of guys touched on last year as, as being a little bit lacking. Um, you know, you're a young guy, but, like, I mean, what can you bring to that table? And do you need to bring anything to that table? And who is bringing something to the table on the offensive side of the ball? Uh, offensive side, uh, well, as far as myself, I think uh, I'm only a sophomore, so right. you know I don't know if the guys, if I'm, you know, if I'm yelling at them and stuff like that. I don't think I don't think they're gonna go for that. But what I try to do is I try to lead by example, and hopefully, you know, 
from freshman to senior, you know, guys see me working hard, then, you know, they're going to say, okay, well, if he's working hard, why can't we all work hard? So I'm just trying to lead by example. But guys that have been leading by example and being vocal, guys like Stefan Green, these, these guys right here, Chima and Quinn, uh, Mike Farrell, Shane McGregor, just a lot of guys, even even Rob Bolden and, and Matt McGloin, those guys, you know, they're not seniors, but they've been, been pretty vocal and, and stepping up as leaders as well. So, so that's something that everybody's going to want to hear about, you know, the quarterbacks, you know, what's your take? I know it's an easy qu uh, question to answer, <laughs> you know, who, who should the starter be, what, you know? No clue. Okay. No clue. Uh, both of those guys can start anywhere. and. Uh, I, I mean, I, it's, it's, it's tough on it. It's a tough, it's a tough decision for the coaches, and uh, we know that. But we're, we're, we're staying focused on what we have to do, our task at hand, and uh, we're letting them figure that out. I mean, I assume it, it, it helps everybody, competitions across the board. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, as far as running backs, right. linebackers, quarterbacks, everybody's right. competing. I think. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's healthy because we're all still a team. And right. We're all working to the overall goal, which is a national championship. So. Yeah. And you, you told me last year. Well, I think it was in February that they were, you know, between you and Brandon and um, Steph, you know, there was not going to be any animosity. Right, right. right. exactly. Right. What, you know, has that carry through and, you know, how can things sort of shake out for this fall? Well, I, I just, before I came over here, I was just talking with Steph and he's like, you know, it's going to be a good one, right? You're talking about the competition. I'm like, I already know, man. You don't have to say anything to me. And uh, I think it's, it's just, it's, it's going to be fun. That's all. There's no hard feelings. It's, it's really going to be a fun competition, and uh, we're going to get some hard workers out of all of us. And I would assume between the three of you, whoever emerges, you're going to get a good one. All right, right, exactly. Yeah, all, all three of us could tote the rock. So, you know, you should whoever wins it, you guys shouldn't be too disappointed. All right.